Yo, what's going on, kings and queens? It's your boy Chaz Jackson coming back to you once again, representing GNG Gift and a Gift. Hey, our persons won't take the time to tell each and every one of you, thank you for giving me your eyes. In your ears once again is a great dive deep into some inspiration that I pray will plant like a seed in your mind and assist you in becoming a greater version of yourselves. So if you didn't know, our model here is we're all gifted differently to make a difference. I know there are difference makers that's listening to me right now. Go ahead, let us know that you're there. Also, share it out to anyone that you see fit will be to resonate with this platform as we strive to grow in providing tips and techniques uh, to young men as they strive to grow in personal development. And we definitely have a difference maker that's coming on the show today. Nalsheen, she is here, ready to bring some amazing value to you, teach educators, parents that's listening right now. And before I read off her bio, get her on the show as we dive into the theme, Elevate Now. I want to go over the mission statement of this platform. And I want you guys to do this with me. Take this daily challenge of becoming a passionate visionary who is determined to leave a legacy for themselves by adopting unwavering life values and serving others in the area of gifting led by God. So that's the mission that I'm taking. I invite you to take that mission with me. Let me read off this bio so we can get this queen on. Nalsheen Somtali is an empowerment speaker, trainer, and disc behavioral analyst expert who is helping her clients break free from self-sabotaging patterns that hold them back from taking action on their goals. She's passionate about personal development with focused attention on mindset, self-discovery, and communication, and she loves serving our next generation. Nalsheen, are you ready to get it, champion? Oh, yeah. I'm so excited to be with all of you here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So I know the audience, they are so excited to hear more about your story of how you've become this phenomenal individual, uh, elevating people to grow in personal development, leadership in all different areas, as far as finding clarity, uh, better focus and consistency in their lives. So what did all that start from as far as you sharing your story of how you got to where you are right now? Okay, so where do I start? I was born on no, I'm just kidding. So I think <laughs> the passion, the passion really started when so many years ago I was working for Microsoft as a business development manager, and at the same time I started to discover personal development through the company itself, who was training us and sending us to multiple training across the world. But also aside from that, I had a mentor. Back then I was not in Canada, I was in my home country in Mauritius. And my mentor, who was a John Maxwell um, team member, a certified coach and speaker, he's the one that really helped me to discover that whole side of personal development. And as I discovered that, I, and I started to understand more about myself. And I was like, oh, my God, like, how did I not know all these things? Like, mm. this is so powerful. I was shocked. And so this started to transform into a passion and fast forward years later. So every month I was taking a course, a training, a workshop where I was learning more about myself, how to develop my mind, understanding my mind more. And then fast forward a few years later, 2018, I was moving to Canada. So uh, I was not working at Microsoft anymore. And that was for me an opportunity to really say, hey, where do I start? What do I do next? Because I don't want to just be doing something that I have to do. Mm. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love my job at Microsoft. It was fantastic. Was it my passion though? Not so much. So this is where I stopped and asked myself, what do I do next? And when I thought, hey, that's what I want to do. I want to go into that whole personal development side to really help people to grow, learn about themselves, connect better, communicate better with the goal to really reduce stress um, 
the stress that people feel daily, right? Because I think there's too much of that and it's not necessary. So yeah, so this is where the transition really happened. And I moved in Canada in 2019. And even when I came here, because I had all this thinking, uh, this is personal development at the back of my head. When I came to Canada, I did not just say, hey, let me find a job and then figure out how do I do what I love? Because people told me, when you come to Canada, you have to be willing to start at a lower level. And for me, and all the training and understanding that I had from no, personal you just like me. I'm ready to get it. I know what I'm doing. No, no. <laughs> exactly. And so I stuck to that. I, I found a job into the field that I wanted. And um, I started coaching, training corporate uh, executives and directors and teams. And then we all know what happened in 2020, right? COVID hit. I lost my job in March. Oh, man, and yes. I have a big smile when I'm saying that because that could not have been the biggest blessing in my life because this for me was an opportunity to now say, hey, you've been wanting to start your business for a long time. Now is that time. It was the middle of covid People were saying, hey, nobody's buying, but guess what? I did it anyways because I had empowered myself to make this decision through the years of personal development. I knew this is what I wanted to do, and I seized that opportunity. I saw the opportunity in the middle of adversity, like John Maxwell would say. Mm. And here I am today, and what I do today is I focus um, working with corporate teams using the DISC theory, the leadership game, and different workshops to really help them to, to connect better so that it reduces conflict, it improves understanding and empathy within the work environment because we live in a world where, which is very diverse, right? We need to be able to understand each other. So this is what I focus on today. And yeah, this is a little bit about my story. Yeah, thank you so much for, for diving deeper. And as far as the pandemic, how's things in Canada? Is, is things opening up more? more oh, or? It's been really tough. Uh, we've been under lockdown since November of last year. So today is uh, July 2021. So, so still lockdown? November, October 20, we've been under lockdown. Wow. Things started opening up about a month ago. So I think up to 15%. But my family and I here, um, we've been really strict with meeting people and with not meeting people and being safe. So it's been a quite a tough year. Everything has been virtual for me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, the goal is hopefully we can kind of get beyond the storm and continue to grow. And like you said, uh, during, you know, the trials, you were able to still elevate. And God, it started with, you know, your mentor sounds like. And I know John constantly talks about, you know, getting in front of people that are ahead of you. And and you had that mentor and kind of skyrocketed for you to elevate now. So yeah. when you hear that. What does that mean to you to elevate now? So the thinking behind this was two words that I think people needed to hear over and over again, elevating, because there's so much more to people than what we see, myself included. And now, because I think there's this piece of urgency that we need in order to really get there, you know, now is the time, wherever you're at now is the time. So that was really the thinking behind it. So really to think about ourselves and say, hey, there's more to myself. How do I, how do I elevate myself? Mm. And then right now, what do I do right now to make that happen? Mm. I love that. I love that. And whoever's listening right now, she is definitely elevated and she inspiring other people to elevate. So th this is definitely a fruitful conversation. And I know there, there was a quote that you said on one of your other platform interviews to improve your self-awareness. That is the best thing you can do. Now, when you hear that, uh, Nasheen, and uh, this podcast is built on providing tips and techniques for our young adults as they strive to grow in personal development and a lot of um, teachers, coaches, parents, they listen to this podcast and they're wanting to grow our younger generation's self-awareness. Is there a tip of technique that comes to mind uh, that so, where you would start with uh, encouraging them to become a stronger version of themselves? So I, I always say there are multiple ways to do that. So three things. Uh, number one is self-help. You can just get a book that will help you to understand how your mind works or a book in something that is of interest to you. Um, that is aligned to what you like so that as the, your understanding increases uh, of that thing, you're also improving with that. 
some examples of books would be Change Your World by John Maxwell, Daring Greatly by um, Brené Brown, The Gifts of Imperfection by Brené Brown, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, The Science mm -hmm. of Getting Rich by mm -hmm. Wallace D. Waddles. So that could be one. Aside from that, um, regular find trainings around you, whether it's virtual or in person, that people are delivering. There are so many of them. Only the John Maxwell team, there are 29,000 certified people, and I'm sure Shaz as well uh, would do these things, right? So right, exactly. the this is how I started. Every month there was a training. It was sometimes outside, sometimes at very nice locations, sometimes online, and find that. And then... Um, the third thing is to go for the bigger events outside of your region, which is where really the energy is much higher. And those will be the three things that uh, I would suggest. So one that is very easy self-help, the second one that is next level, and then the third level, which is really the, the big one. There is a fourth level, which is coaching, which is really powerful. And, but I, I think we do need that little foundation first before we go into that coaching mode. So mm. yeah, that would be it. But aside from all of that, one of the tools that I really love when it comes to self-awareness is take a personality test. I'm a DISC certified um, behavioral analysis consultant, and this has been the tool that I've been using with corporate teams because we have so many blind spots and a personality test can really help us uncover this. doesn't mean this is who you are and that's it. But it, it, it sheds some light on some of the, the things that you may not know about yourself or you mm. may not know how you're perceived by the world. And so that could be a simple tool to use. Nice, nice. So um, I know there's someone's listening right now. You have definitely captured their attention and they're just like, man, I want to get more clarity. Because for me, whenever I got more clear on what God was calling me to do, it was like I became more magnetic. I was attracting things that, you know, at once before, because I wasn't focused on it, it, it didn't come into my life to help me get to where I am now. Um, so for you, that individual is like, man, I want to get in front of some more of you know, seeing stuff of what she's doing as far as with the disc training and her leadership. Can you share your contact information and also share some things that you got coming up here in the future? Uh, what's going on in your world with Elevate Now? Okay, so um, you guys can find me on, on Facebook or Instagram, Nafshin Samtali, and my links are in my, in my bio. So a couple of things that I have going on at the moment, specifically geared towards self-awareness and personal development, I have an, an ongoing membership, which is basically modeled after what I have been through, the monthly training and the support that I had behind this is exactly what I give to my membership. And that's uh, um, something that we have every month, different topics that will really help elevate your mind, improve your self-awareness, expand your perspective. So that's what I have going on. But something that I'm really excited about on Tuesday, Tuesday to Friday, I'm part of a diversity conference where I am speaking in a breakout session. And I'm oh, talking nice. about diversity from a stylistic perspective. So this is something that I have going on as well. Uh, now, how do we year. find that information? Of... So the conference is called diversityconference.ca. So all the details are there. Okay, nice. Yeah, and I think there are some pretty big names talking there too. I think Martin Luther King um, the third is talking there. A few people from Edmonton, Canada, in the in the government are talking as well. Yeah. No, she needs talking. That is a big name. Gosh, that's good <laughs> stuff. Um, you're definitely a giant. I know people standing on your shoulders and seeing uh, farther uh, in life and growing in personal development and leadership. This has been an amazing treat. You've been on GNG podcast and inspiring the audience. Thank you so much for your time and effort, Nasheen. And, and we're definitely rooting for you and uh, wanting to support you any way we can to help you continue to inspire other people. So thank you. Thank again. you so much. It's been it's been such a such a great time here sharing with all of you. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Just shoot a message. I'm just a message away. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, like I told each and every one of you, this was going to be an amazing episode. Go ahead and let us know what to protect neat out of the three that was provided that you're going to implement and take the daily challenge on applying to your life right now. And I want you to stay up with GNG. More episodes coming soon. I want you to do two things for me. Continue to keep that crown on your heart. And remember this, we are God's echo. I love each and every one of you. Peace. Thank you for listening to g, &G Podcast. Remember, you are gifted differently to make a difference. 
please visit ChazJacksonSpeaks.org and let's continue to grow together. God bless.